Hello, my name is Kate Davies, and I believe that I have an idea worth sharing. I'm not sure about you, but I love a hot cup of tea or coffee in the morning. Every cup of water boiled by a kettle uses around 1200 watts of electricity, which is quite a lot. 1200 watts is the same amount as the amount of power it takes to run a low-room dishwasher or four plasma TVs. Just to boil one cup of water. That got me thinking. What about people all over Africa or those living in third world countries who don't have access to clean sanitary water or let alone electricity to boil it? After some research, I found that in 2010, 1.2 billion people were without access to electricity and today, 783 million are without clean sanitary water. That's when I thought of inventing a machine that could boil water without plugging electricity. If water is boiled to 100 degrees, its boiling point, all pathogens the water contained would terminate. This includes the most common waterborne disease, diarrhea. Diarrhea kills 2,195 children every day, which, believe it or not, is more than measles, malaria and AIDS combined. This can be prevented with allowing these suffering children access to clean, sterile drinking water. All that needs to happen for water to become sterile is for oh, sorry. This can be prevented with allowing these suffering children access to clean, sterile drinking water, as the disease will be unable to spread. For really dirty water to become sterile, all that needs to happen is to use a bit of cloth to like sort of sieve through the water and filter it. Um, but if the water does contain something like a chemical toxin or a PCB, the water must then undergo filtration and distillation. But this incident is nowhere near as common as waterborne diseases. 3.4 million deaths are caused each year due to waterborne diseases, which is really nothing compared to the amount of deaths caused by the amount, sorry, which is really nothing caused by the amount of deaths by chemical toxins. There are approximately 3.4 million deaths per year due to water-related diseases such as diarrhea, arson crisis, cholera, fluorosis, HIV, AIDS, trachoma and typhoid. Diarrhea being the most common one of all. Every 90 seconds a child dies from, di from one of these diseases. Unsanitary sanitary water also provides a good breeding ground for mosquitoes that could be infected or carry malaria. Guinea worm disease and intestinal worms are also provided with a good breeding area. All of these can be prevented by allowing people with access to clean, sterile drinking water. Dirty water kills more people each year than any type of violence, including war. My dear friend invention is able to boil water to 100 degrees Celsius without using plug-in electric electrics. This is done by the movement of a circular magnet through a coil connected to a heating element. To first make an electrical current, that the heating element then turns into heat power. The contraption would have five walls between the outside and the inner water chamber. The middle of the cup is just a normal 250ml plastic cup with a screw lid. Just outside are the laminated coil and the heating element. Then between the element and the circular magnet is a small wall of insulation. Outside the magnet is a larger heat resistant cup. When it is shaken, the magnet moves up and down its track, causing the electrons in the wire to excite and move around, creating electrical current. This current is then transferred into heat power using a heating element. The heating element should then zap the heat conductive water, heating it. The shape of my idea is achieved with a screw lid. Then on the very outside of the cup is a grip line, so it's easy to hold and shape to create boiled water. The plastic on the, on the cup is smooth and crash resistant. When you shake it, the circular magnet runs up and down the inside of the trap, powering and, powering and boiling the water, therefore creating sterile water. It is believed that diseases are continuing to form new variations, which means more diseases and therefore more deaths. My machine is capable of preventing seven major diseases, including diarrhea. With research, more and more diseases can be prevented and cured. Wouldn't it be nice to live in a world that's disease-free?